Now, if you find yourself snoring heavily at night, even waking up gasping for breath, a recent study may be of interest. What did the scientists do? Well, they studied over 11 million individuals, and here's what they found. First, somewhere between 13 to 15% of those individuals were suffering from undiagnosed sleep apnea. Now, sleep apnea could be where the soft palate starts to collapse, the airway will start to collapse. When you get partial collapses, that's when you get the sort of fluttering, the perturbation of the airway, that's the snoring sound. And then sometimes the airway will collapse entirely like a straw that goes flat. And at that point, you go into oxygen desaturation. And what they discovered not only is that somewhere between, as I said, 13 to 15% were undiagnosed, they went on to demonstrate a 100% increased risk for the development of Parkinson's disease. Now, that statistic by itself is simply correlational. It does not prove causality. But that's where the third and the final result came into play. They then also looked at individuals who were identified and treated with sleep apnea early. And here they had what's called a CPAP machine. Those individuals who were diagnosed and treated early, they ended up having a 30% reduction in Parkinson's disease risk. That is a causal manipulation. When you experimentally manipulate one of the factors here, the apnea severity, you causally change the outcome of the other measure, which is your Parkinson's disease risk. So what does this tell us? Well, I think it suggests two things. Firstly, we know that when you go into oxygen desaturation at night, it is highly toxic to brain cells. But now what we're discovering is that that same toxicity of going into oxygen desaturation caused by untreated sleep apnea extends to motor control regions that are involved in movement the very same circuits that seem to be affected by Parkinson's disease, hence the connection between increasing Parkinson's disease risk. More generally, what I think this tells us is that if you are someone who has sleep apnea, you know that you snore, you know that you gasp for breath, even if you know of someone who is a heavy snorer, please get them tested and get treated. It can change the trajectory of your dementia and ultimately your degenerative neurological disease condition state.